So today we're going to take and show you how to take this transflective display and turn it into a transparent display. Now, fair warning, it's not going to be a very good transparent display and probably not the transparent display of your dreams, but it will be display, will be transparent. So what you need is, um, we'll put the part number of this in, it's like a CFAX128 something, I think it's got a U3 in the end of the part number, and it's basically a, a little thin chip-on glass display that has a back transflective polarizer and a front transmissive polarizer. Now, transflective polarizer is a little bit transparent because this comes in a backlit variation and but it's also reflective so you can see it in uh, like lighting like this the other thing you're gonna need is some scrap display which we have plenty of here you might not um, we're gonna try using this uh, junk TFT and what we need is this polarizer off the front if you had a source of for other polarizer that'd be great but um, to get one with adhesive on it it's usually the easiest so the first thing you got to do is pull the transflective polarizer off the back of this display. So I'm just going to use an X-Acto knife here and get a grip on that. And in case you were wondering, this is outside of your warranty. And so you should probably wear some gloves and do all the safety things, which I didn't do. So now you've got the display, which is almost clear. But if you notice how dark it is, it does block some light because it has a polarizer on it. The glass is pretty close to clear. Not perfectly clear, but pretty close. But the polarizer blocks about half the light just because it's a polarizer. So we'll set that aside and we'll see if we can harvest a sheet of polarizer from this TFT. I guess I'm not very doing very good if I can't even figure out which side the polarizer is. I think the front polarizer is here. And this TFT is super thin glass, so Maybe I'll break it. Hopefully I won't. You need something that's a little bigger. So the TFT broke, but well, it was from the junk bin anyway. So now what you've got is a chunk of polarizer with adhesive on it. And you've got this display, which has polarizer on the front and no polarizer on the back. And it's got a little bit of dust on it there. And that's going to be so we know it's genuine. <laughs> so we could make a negative display or a positive display. Um, you want a positive display because you want transparent. So if you put the polarizer on here, you can see that's pretty dark. And as you rotate the polarizer, it'll go through some different colors and different darknesses. And as you keep rotating, you'll find one where it's about as clear as possible. And these angles are determined by science or magic over by the LCD engineers. So what I'm doing here is I'm just kind of trying to tweak that to where that angle is as clear as possible. And that's why you need a much bigger display to start with. And then just um, laminate it on there, try to get all the bubbles out, which you probably have a roller or use some, uh, sometimes the guys who really know what they're doing with decals and stuff will use uh, dishwasher or dish, like a dish soap and water thing. And then you're just going to trim that polarizer off. The way they make polarizers is kind of, is kind of crazy. They basically stretch them and by stretching it, it kind of gives a grain in the material. And uh, so, you know, we'll, we'll somehow put hack in the title of this video because you can see it's obviously a hack. Well, literally a hack as I hack through this stuff. And uh, I don't know, I'll try to score it here. Hopefully, I didn't just cut a whole bunch of traces on the glass and then break it. All right, so in theory, this is now a more or less transparent LCD. You can see things through it, and when we power it up and give power to it, it should put dark pixels on it. Um, but as you can see, it's pretty dark. It's not, there's a lot of light blocked by the LCD, and that's because there's the polarizers. So what we'll do next is we'll power this thing up and take another little video showing you the dots on it. Hi, Kelsey here. Brent has passed off this display to me and I'm going to bring it up and show you that it is in fact transparent. Um, so what I have so far is the display put into a breakout board. I have my Cduino. I've already loaded it with the code from our website. Um, I have the pin table from our data sheet and the pin information from the code. So first we're going to hook up the power and ground and the pin numbers are backwards. So 
pin 20 is going to be our power supply. We're going to go there. And I, on this Arduino, I have um, I have it set to 3.3 .3 volts since this is a 3.3 .3 volt display, so we won't fry it out. And we've got ground to the ground. And then pin three is our chip select knot. So we, this is the one that is controlled in the code. Um, so we're going to go through pin three here to pin 10. Um, and then pin four is um, chip select high. And we're just going to pull that high so that we don't have to about it we don't control it in the code so just pulling it high is good enough um and then pen five is our reset use same wires so we go pen five oof. and then reset is d9 and then we have our register select, which is called A0 in the data sheet. And we go from pin six to D8 on the Arduino. Um, and then we have Mossy and clock. And so our clock goes from pin 15 on the display to pin D13, so we've got 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, which means that pin 11 is our data. And we go there to pin 16 on the display. All right, so I've already hooked up. I've got it hooked up. I've already loaded the code. Now I'm just going to power it on, and it's actually, it actually goes this way. All right, so there you can see that the display is in fact working, and we can even prove that it is poorly, but still is <laughs> transparent. So there you go. That's how you make your very own transparent display.